Well, hey, jerks. Now I'm dizzy. Putting more content out there because reasons. Uh, I've been way behind. Anyway, um, make sure you subscribe to my other channel, Models and Movies. The link is gonna be in the description. Please, please, please. I wanna get 100 subscribers. Do it or do it. Anyway, um, today I'm gonna do something mm, cosmetic and dumb. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this before, but um, the engine bay, which is looking okay. I mean, it looks okay, but I want it to look better than okay. So I'm gonna do something kind of dumb. Come along with me, won't you? Yeah, I'm gonna paint the heat shield, just cause. I know I'm not even gonna keep this heat shield because when I get my new headers, and I don't know when that's gonna, I don't know when that's gonna happen, um, but I know that this heat shield is not gonna be, I can't use this heat shield with, with most aftermarket headers, so. This is probably just going to be gone, but until then, I want it to kind of look different, look nicer. So, yeah, I'm going to paint my heat shield. And if you've ever taken your heat shield off before, uh, there's a bunch of stuff you kind of have to do. So let me kind of go over that. So it's not just as easy as taking out one, two, three, four bolts. Oh, this one wasn't even tightened, was it? It feels loose, just the uh, thing is loose. So there's four bolts holding the uh, heat shield on. I'm missing one of them right here, but whatever. But unfortunately, to get this out, you also have to remove the snorkel, loosen the air box, and uh, otherwise you're just not gonna be able to get it out. So I'm gonna do that super quick. take out the cruise control module. What the fuck's holding that in? That's why you need to take the snorkel out. There. I kind of want to take out the uh, cruise control altogether, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do that. So it's off and um, it's rusted as shit as you can see, um, but don't care, I'm going to make it pretty. This was at one time spotless and I think painting it will help keep it spotless. So I've got some uh, engine degreaser right here, I'm just going to hit it. <laughs> I don't know if that shows up well, but um, it almost looks like it's been gloss painted right now. Kind of weird. I don't know if that evaporates off or what. I imagine the grease are on plastics. Generally a bad idea. All right, and then I guess to get the degreaser off, I'm gonna use like glass cleaner. I don't know if that is a good idea or not. But it's the idea I'm using. And conventional wisdom tells me that I should hit this with um, some uh, four zero steel wool since I have it. Four zero steel wool just to uh, kind of rough it up a little bit. I don't feel this roughing anything. If anything it's probably making it smooth. Actually one of the things you want to do after you steel wool is um, wipe it down because this is made up of tiny lots of tiny little fibers that could get everywhere. Just using the same red engine paint that I was using to paint my uh, valve cover. I'm going to be using the uh, a different paint technique than both Angel and uh, Jesus like to use. Um, more of a longer stroke. All right. 
seems to be going on really, really well. We'll come back in 10 minutes, put on another coat, see how it goes. Looks like I put it on a little thick, but now it kind of looks like it's going to have a like, kind of like a, a powder coat finish, which is kind of cool. All right, so I think that's going to do it. It's pretty good from almost every angle. Eh. So I'm just going to put this inside to dry. I don't know where I'm going to put it in. Uh, but I'll see you on the reinstall. Okay, so I want to be kind of done farting around with this. Uh, this is looking really good. Um, I'm getting a lot of rust on my hands, which is not good. Uh, it's dry, but it's still kind of tacky, I guess, in a, in a weird way. So I'm just going to drop this in and then um, button everything up and uh, we'll be done with this. I'll just drop this in. box back where it belongs. Yeah, air box back. Uh oh. What's that? Ah, oh, spacer. There we go. Snorkel, snorkel. I'm guessing this room's right here. I didn't pay enough attention to where these which screws went where before. I'm an idiot. Tighten the hose clamp around the snorkel here. Dunzo. So, this is the after. Not bad. Looks interesting. I kind of dig it. I don't need to shine up my valve cover now. I guess the next job is the uh, intake manifold. See if I might do something with that. Not sure. But I gotta say, if that holds up, that looks pretty slick. So there you have it. Another stupid job done. That was pointless, but I mean, if I'm gonna make an engine bay look good, I might as well make an engine bay look good, right? I wanna get a hose um, kit, maybe get blue hoses all over the place, blue, blue vacuum hoses and blue water hoses. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, done with that project, and I'll see you jerks another time.